Welcome back everyone. Quick weekly performance report. I once again did not buy anything over the last week. I have been quite, quite busy over the last week. And to demonstrate how busy I've been, I've probably been on Twitter for 10 minutes in the past seven days. I've been trying to watch, a, I started a, about a month ago watching The Blacklist on Netflix. Excellent. I'd recommend watching it or giving it a try. And this entire week, I've been trying to just relax and watch an episode. And I'm about, I think, 11 minutes into an episode. And I've tried watching that episode on a few different occasions. So I get about two or three minutes in every couple of days. And uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, been busy. I have a couple of things that kind of need the finishing touches put on them to then publish, and I've just not been able to get to it. And as such, I haven't published it. I'd, I'd like to say in the next few days I'd be able to get to doing that. I'm not sure if that's true, though, so I'd like to allude to it might happening, but no guarantees or promises. And with that said, I ended the week up 2.9%. Seemingly, you know, that's kind of nice about having a portfolio like how mine is constructed. I, I pretty much, I've, I've been away from the markets for a week. It was not even like it was on vacation, but I'd be, well, looking at the markets to some extent. I think Friday, my portfolio ran up a lot. I, I think that was because of Jackson Hole, and I, I just don't, I really don't know. I have not been paying really any attention, and eh, that's all right. And I mean, I didn't even want to make this video. Don't want to. I'm just busy doing stuff, and there's been no changes to any names in regards to adding or selling positions. But what I will say is that Decibel was down. Oh, I was probably negative forty percent of my portfolio, and now it's down negative twelve. It's kind of funny. The volatility, I think I noted that last week, how things just go up a lot and then down a lot. Or, you know, they re someone reports earnings and the stock falls 10% that day or the next day. And then one or two days later, the stock then goes up 10%, wiping out or erasing the entire pullback. And it's like, what was the point of that? How, how, is, how is that reflective of efficient markets? It's, it's very strange. Uh, C CLMT, ticker symbol, the name is CLM, oh my God. They were a something and now they're a, a C, st nope, that's not, Calumet? Cal yeah, I think that's right. Maybe that is right. Anyway, they, they had a, a big pullback over the summer on what seemed like good news and then the stocks ripped like a hundred percent in the past month or so it's just genie uh, the stock i own genius sports i'm up 50 percent on it went nowhere for months and then bam 50 percent and just on and on that can go and interesting enough has prom released information for uranium i'm just jumping all over the place and i think it was friday that urnm the, the Sprout Uranium Mining ETF was up, shot up like 8%, 9% in a day or something. That's always interesting. Valeris, well, is disappointing like it's been doing for the well, last 18 months. And then Sabanier, Stillwater bouncing around. And I, I need to get caught up on some of these. I even got caught up on some earnings calls or transferring information from the earnings calls into my spreadsheet models, like for instance, Glasshouse. I've not transferred over the data to my spreadsheet and I'm falling behind and it's kind of nice though to have a little break from things. So with that said, I, I really do got to get going. <laughs> so hopefully I'll stop with these verbal disfluencies because I'm just winging this in a 
shitty fashion, to be honest. But I committed to giving a weekly performance report. And, you know, if you can't do something right, don't do it at all. Well, sometimes you just got to bang out some numbers and consistency. I said I'd publish every week, pro provide a verbal and visual presentation of my weekly performance report. And when I can, provide you with information, thoughts, whether that be specific to a stock, specific to the stock market, or tangentially associated from some uh, psychological dynamic or something like that, which I often do, or just my opinion and takes on certain things. So this week and really the past couple of months, I've provided a few of these that are just not that high quality and I only do it once a week. So it doesn't take long for people just to forget about me and fair enough. So the fact that I'm saying and and so, so many times tells me that I don't have much more to say and if I do have, and if I do say much, it's just going to be more gobbledygook. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening and until next time.